Hey, what's up guys? Jake Hershey here with my man, Dan Donato. Hey, how you doing? Rider for Crisp Scooters, and we're gonna do a custom build for you. We're gonna start with our Cooper Klar bars, Phoenix. We got ODI grips. We got a Zach Martin Proto SES, stolen Bike Co. headset. I just like it because it's green. Uh, and uh, Urban Art LeBaron fork. Some Aztec Trilogy wheels. Elite Supreme five inch wide deck. 22.5, 22.2 long, and the Creature Grip Tape. So without any further ado, let's get this thing built. What should we do first, Dan? I think we're gonna start off with getting the grips on the bars. All right, that's a good place to start, I'd say. While Dan's putting on the grips, I'm gonna start gripping the deck. Dan put grips on faster than any Chris Rider I've ever seen. Except for John, maybe. I think John's got you. <laughs> Boom, just like that. Perfect grip job, grips on the bars. So now, we're gonna put the fork on. I picked the deck, the Elite deck, because this is one of the brands that I just started working with uh, over at Turnstyle Brands. Um, so I thought it would be a good choice. Uh, I haven't really seen much of these in person. Uh, and honestly, this is a really nice deck. It's solid, square dropouts. Um, super strong from the looks of it. Awesome deck. We're putting on the uh, Urban Art LeBaron forks. Shouts out to Maxime, that's my boy. Uh, and Urban Art is also another brand that we just started working with, so definitely excited about that. We're gonna throw this fork on here. Gotta have the, uh, the Proto, Zach Martin signature SES. Oh yeah. I went with the, uh, the Zach Martin Proto because Zach's a great friend of mine. Uh, definitely somebody I look up to uh, in riding. He's just an incredible dude and uh, insane rider, so we're gonna throw his signature SES on this scooter. Now we may have to stretch this. Uh, the proto clamps are uh, machined just a little bit snug, so I think we're gonna un uh, loosen our bolts a little bit here and see if we can give her a stretch. If you guys have never stretched a clamp before, this is how we do it. We take one bolt, thread it through the opposite side, and then we're gonna take our washer. You can use a quarter, a nickel, anything at home Piece if you don't have one of these, but these things are nice and thick. So it should make our lives a bit easier. All right, and you get the washer in there. I'm just gonna set her up a little better. And you start tightening it. And as you're tightening it, the clamp is actually spreading because the bolt is pressing on the washer, causing it to open up. And so it should make our lives a lot easier getting this thing on, just like that. But we're gonna put some grease on here so it's a little bit easier to get off in the long run. SCS is greased up. We're gonna throw on a, uh, whatever this is called, a headset spacer <laughs> on top, just so our SCS sits nice. Boom, we got her on. Gonna line it up, and now we can take out our stretched bolt, our stretcher bolt. I've had this pair of bars, the same ones, but they're super, super sturdy. How long have you had them? Uh, since the beginning of 2014. <laughs> yeah. No bends, no cracks, no nothing. Nope. All right, let's see if we can get around first too. May have to do another stretch on the top. Like Dan, I've also been riding these bars for a really long time. I've never broken a single pair of them. Um, sometimes I'll switch them out. You know what? We blew it, guys. The only thing that... We didn't put our compression on. Let's try this one more time. <laughs> Never seen that before, have you? No. <laughs> All right, now we're gonna put the bars on. Kablam! All right, so now the last bit is the wheels. We got our Aztec Trilogy wheels. Aztec is a, a somewhat new company. It's one of the uh, newer rider-owned companies out there. Uh, and they're putting out some awesome parts. I personally am riding the Aztec Fountain Deck, which if you can get your hands on one, that's great. Uh, I know the vault is all out of them and so are we uh, at Turnstyle, so it's gonna be a bit before there's any more on the market. So if you get your hands on one, you're a lucky guy or gal. 100 mils? No, 110s. These are 110s, wow. Come on. They feel small. Dan rides 125, so he, <laughs> he doesn't know. Yeah. I'm too used to the uh, <laughs> too used to the big wheel. 
You can try flipping it over and tapping it with that mallet back there. It's just like a snug axle. <laughs> Would you look at that? Do you ride scooters by any chance? <laughs> See? We got a guy over here. <laughs> they call him James. He doesn't ride scooters. He does, you know, he's behind the camera. But he knows the how they go together. Boy just told me how to put the scooter together. Yeah. It worked first try. Well guys, the build is done. It looks amazing. Uh, the all black came out great with the uh, small green accents, um, as well as the graphic on the Z Martini clamp. Um, overall, this is going to be an amazing scooter for whoever gets it. Uh, before we go, we're gonna give it a drop test real quick. So uh, here we go. Hey guys. Um, yeah, this, this scooter is like very, very well put together. Uh, sounded solid over there. Yeah, it's, it's definitely very dialed in. Um, nothing rattles on it. It's really hefty, honestly. All right, guys, well, uh, go head on over to the Vault's website, scoop this thing up before it's gone. Mm -hmm. uh, thanks so much for watching. Follow me at Neckbeard on Instagram and at Who's Dan's on Instagram over Two here. Z's. <laughs> Two Z's. Don't forget to like, subscribe, uh, and share this video, and all the links for social media will be down in the description. Thank you guys so much for watching.